back in the cavern, uh, here on our third video of Let's Play Mask of the Betrayer, we're going to go to the other sort of side area here that we were in the forge. Uh, now we're going to go to the library to do zero sum uh, archaeology or something like that. I think I'm actually just going to kill these guys and rest a lot because Tensor's is too slow. Maybe a little bit of overkill, but what's the point of being a wizard if you can't do a little bit of overkill now? Thank you, Admiral Akbar. This robe also gives me some spell resistance, which, you know, is utterly useless. Um, the Spirit Shaman spells I have, I could have picked up spell resistance from Spirit Shaman, but since my caster level for Spirit Shaman is only 11, I'm not going to bother. More Emiskari ruins. This area must have been uncovered by accident, like the other one we saw earlier. Mask of the Betrayer also added a few spells that weren't in the original campaign. Uh, some of them are useful. Some of them, like Extract Water Elemental, are not. All of them have mysteriously low gold prices. I don't know what the value of that is. It makes them easy to identify, but um, that's about it. I, I have a bit of lore from because I have, you know, a non-zero intellect, um, and so that's enough to identify. There are a couple of them that I'll be using. Not very many, though. And I'm just gonna manually cast. Now, as I mentioned, uh, Sophia lacking mirror image is important because, as you can see, I'm taking no damage, and that's because I have mirror image up. Well, I'm taking almost no damage. Fortunately, I can just heal that with my uh, spirit shaman spells. This is the other use of having spirit shaman. The r enchantment system in this game includes one sort of, uh, I don't know, infamous, notable abuse, which is that you can ca put massive amounts of regeneration on your equipment. Uh, so you can be at the point where you're regenerating 20 hit points every round, and it's be you become virtually invincible. Uh, I'm not actually going to do that. I don't really, I mean, I've abused the enchantment system here before. It's it's fun, but it really, you know, that's not the point of this character. Anyway, uh, we picked up a couple more scrolls here. This one here, Evasculate, I've actually bothered to learn uh, as one of my level 7 spells. Um, here it is. And the important thing about it is that it has no saving throw. Uh, it's not a really great spell. Um, it deals half of the target's hit points and damage, which, you know, finger of death kills them. But the saving throw is whether or not they get stunned, and the half of their hit points always happens, assuming they're vulnerable to negative energy damage. Um, Ice Storm and Greater Missile Storm, the other two spells I'm using, uh, also have no saving throw. Most of the enemies in this uh, campaign are so high level that they frankly are just going to resist anything you throw at them. I could actually give some of those scrolls to Sophia and have her learn them. Um, some of them, I don't know, though I'll probably just carry them through to the end of the game. Uh, and some of them I will use as scrolls, like those two scrolls of Avasculate. Uh, I actually was tempted to pick up the scribe scroll feed, but... Anyway, we have an impasse. And there are a couple ways to get around this. You can just fight your way through. Um, there's that rod of dispelling, which you can use to get through. If you do it, there's some, well, slightly humorous things that, well, random, I guess, better than humorous that happen. Uh, the 
nominal correct way to do it is up by the Orglash we picked up a spirit pouch. Um, and So we'll just go over to the offering bowl and place the sacred pouch in and we get a thousand XP and the door goes away. And I'm just going to rest here. Um, well, I'm going to have to gather the party. I'll be right back. I rested up. I'm back to full, well, spells, and I rebuffed. There's some more wolverines here. There. There are also a lot of enemies in this campaign that have uh, improved evasion, which is an annoying feat to be the least, to say the least for a wizard. Again, uh, if it doesn't have a saving throw, they can't avoid it, and uh, that's really the, the focus of the spells that I've chosen. Uh, a flame arrow has a saving throw, I guess, um, and so does this call light, but I'm not really... Notice they're making their saves. Um, I'm just gonna let Body of the Sun kill these things. If it's actually hitting... They're actually so weak that I can even hit them with my spear and win, but it's just gonna take forever. The essences come in five flavors. There are the four basic elemental flavors, and then there's a power flavor, which um, is not... It essentially, which essence you have determines what effects it will have on enchanting. I'm actually not going to use the enchanting system much, so I may not bother with um, really condensing them and organizing them. I'll explain how that works, but I'm not really going to do much with it. went after the decoy. Wow, she didn't die. Again, like the previous area, there's not actually anything important in all these side passages, but there is some loot here, some of which isn't bad, some of which is fairly useless, actually, but well, well. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, and frankly, at this point, I'm really kind of short on decent equipment, so... Um, let's die. That I don't have a way to deal with traps is not maybe lethal. It is sort of annoying, though. There are some fairly strong traps here. It's not like the original, it's not like Baldur's Gate, though, where essentially walking into a trap meant you died. Here it's just sort of, well, okay, you took you take a little more damage than you really wanted to. Oh well. Fortunately, they put you fairly close to a level. I was actually tempted to wait on Spirit Shaman here. The way this bug works is that essentially every time you gain a level of a Spirit Shaman, you can pick new spells. 
Uh, unless you're actually gaining a level of Spirit Shaman, though, you uh, don't gain the new spells. So I will have to gain at least one more level of Spirit Shaman, regardless of how many casting levels I actually want, just so I can get the ninth level spells. Um, there aren't that many important spells beyond what I've already got here. Um, so, yeah, there's some more garbage here. That amulet gives, like, immunity to mind spells or something like that. It, it's not very important. The big immunity that uh, is important for this first sort of, I don't know, I guess, third of the game is immunity to knockdown. Uh, which is obviously especially important for a single character party because if I get knocked down, I'm not doing anything. And, well, let's gain our level. I'll do that off screen. What might be worth noting with this is that I gained another level in Eldritch Knight because I'm out of Arcane Scholar levels. Uh, with Spirit Shaman, I don't gain new spells, but I do gain the spell slots. And since I have all this meta magic, I have no problem using my level 6 spell slots to cast more, you know, maximized ice storms. And that's still useful. I, there are a couple of the level 6 and higher spells that I'm going to want eventually, but for the most part, more castings of ice storm is the big thing I need. And I think I'll call this the end of the video, and next time, the end of the barrow.